Hey guys, Bryce Hall here, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Let's see what's going to happen here with the DARPA chief. Please tell me he's not naked. Please tell me he's not naked. Please tell me. Thank God. Chief Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? Yep. What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. <laughs> really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. That ain't good. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. Nope, I don't. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. I still say that's a horrible idea for a weapon. I really do. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? <laughs> Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. Again and so again that's and the again. You were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. Because, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's have a bunch of tanks that can walk and shoot nukes, willy-nilly. You know, no big deal. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Ooh, his, ooh, his hair moves weird. Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. At the Rex. base of his neck. Metal Gear Rex, the code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. Uh oh. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? He <laughs> shrugs back at him, even though he can't see that through the slot of the door. That that's pretty solid. I'm bored guard duty uh, behavior if ever I saw it. Whew. Pretty smooth, Snake. Not gonna lie. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures, some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean pal? Yes, of course. There is a path. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. <laughs> Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But...
they found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. Oh, stop making stuff up. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Probably pretty easy to do with a nuke in flight, right? That card key. So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. All right. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. Nice. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. That's pretty cool. Okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? The hell? What is it? are a insanely stupid bitty, you know that? That's some of the worst acid reflux I've ever seen. Oh my god. Huh. Dead. So I should hang around in here with him? Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... Uh, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No! <laughs> Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Sorry. Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, 
The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. <laughs> Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. <laughs> oh my god. That did not go well for the DARPA chief. The hell? Can I? So it looks like this. It's gonna say it looks like the cell's been opened here by. I'm assuming the chick who took out the guard. That guard was pretty dumb, though. To be fair, he seemed ridiculously dumb. Like, ridiculously. <laughs> oh! Oh God! So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? Huh? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Careful. I'm no rookie. <laughs> Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. Thank you for explaining that. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. This is bad. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. God. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Oh god. Do I want to shoot or just try to take them out manually? That didn't work. Is she actually gonna help me or is she just gonna sit here and... Oh, I don't... Oops! <laughs> this is not going well. Um, do I have any rations? I do. Alright, let's take a ration. I don't have my gun equipped for whatever reason. How do I sh I can't even figure out how to shoot. This is ridiculous. That guy's going down. That guy got shot. I see. It takes a second for the, the bullets to interact with them. <laughs> gotta stop shooting her. Shoot. like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot. Oh god. Nice. Okay, stop shooting. They're dead. You got them. Okay, put the gun away, snake. Thank you. Nice. How do I put the gun away? Is it no, not the time to crawl, Snake. Get up! Oh, seriously, what the hell just fell on the floor? Why can't I move here? A ration. That's useful. That was a grenade. That guy's dying, so yeah. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, but that was evident from everything that's happened to this point. <laughs> Bloody. I wish I had a better gun. You slaughtered them real good. Thanks for the help. Wait!
that was excessive. Who are you? Whoa. The hell? You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. That was weird. He's pretty flippy, this this solid snake. Not the way I control him, but you know, in cutscenes. It's a chick, dude. Obviously. Now he knows. Bet the voice was a blatant giveaway. This is not good. I'm assuming that's that Psycho Mantis guy. Good girl. Just like that. So it looks like he took control of her to shoot at me? Maybe? I'm with Snake here. I'm befuddled, to put it lightly. All right, more conversations. Naomi, <laughs> I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. Well... It's good to have a confirmation of what I assume to be true. Alright, so this guy in here, I think, is still naked on the floor. Let's see, is he still all blurred out? Yep, they blurred him pretty good. Alright, what's over here? Hello, anything in here worth looking at? Well, I got some more ammo. A book! We got a book! Did the book show up here? No? Oh well. It's over here. Anything in particular? No, just the computers that I was looking at earlier. Old school style with the green screen. That's uh that's something. I didn't hear anything worth in here stealing. I mean it's a prison room, so I doubt it. Prison cell, pardon me, not a prison room. Makes it look like you got a place at the Ritz or something, my god. Oh man, oh man, oh man. We have gone basically nowhere today. It's just been conversations and insanity. Um Yeah. How do I put a gun away? That didn't do it. Do I actually have to go in here every time and... Oh, there's the book. Oh, adult-oriented material full of girly photos and interesting columns. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Girly parents. All right. Um, I guess we can go downstairs and see what's going on. <laughs> Because we haven't really been anywhere today. It's just been a lot of conversation and talking <laughs> down to the armory. Cool, maybe I can get me set up some grenades. Alright. Whoa! There's pit traps in this game? What? Why are there pit traps in this game? Looks like ammo for something I can't have. Can I open these? Uh, something. I got C4. That's something. Oh, this is all C4. Oh, I see. So this is what I'm going to use to blast open the walls, I'm assuming. Cool. Hmm. 
Nope. Can't do anything with that. I can't believe there's pit traps in this game. That strikes me as one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. Bullet to full. Can I open this? Yeah, more just bullets for that. Alright, anything else in here worth looking at? Doesn't look like it. Just quickly check this room here. Grenades. Ooh. Fantastic. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, let's see. There's some boxes here. No? Can't do a thing with that? Alright. So I have to look for different color walls. Am I already going to be doing the wall work here? Let's just do some quick looking around here. There's another pit trap in the floor. That looks so stupid. Why would they have that? I get it for like a two-dimensional game. Like, would this be the area that they're talking about? That they cement it over and it has to be blown apart? Can I do the old-fashioned uh, punch and kick the uh, the wall to make it do what I want? Just like the old Metal Gear days? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, well, I think... How do I save again? Is it 96? The walls that oh. were cemented over should look slightly different. Yeah, look at okay. the walls carefully in first person view. I think that... Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. I will do that. Did you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound Oh, you too. can. Awesome. Good idea. But make sure you don't alert the soldiers when you do it. Those C4 explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. I should hope so. C4 is pretty damn powerful. How do I change the No, that's not what I want to do. The walls that were cemented. Okay. All right, that's how I do it. Is it 96 they said? You called Snake? Yeah. I am going to save my game. And that is probably where we're going to finish off for today. Uh, yes, I will create a new game. Absolutely. All right. Join us next time, and I'll continue onwards. One hour into me totally screwing stuff up, and we'll see where we go from there. See you guys next time.